All right guys, welcome to my channel. So again, this will be the review for the Lenovo Legion 5 for 2023. I do need to install some programs so that we can get the review started, but let's just get into the actual video of reviewing the build quality of the Lenovo Legion. So this is the 2023 version with the RTX 4060 and the i7. It's the 13th gen Intel processor, i7. So it's definitely gonna be a step up from last year. I'm gonna have to download Cinebench to kind of test it out, so. All right, let's get into the build quality at the very least. Then I could get into that, so. Let's see, all right. So, the Lenovo Legion for 2023. Hopefully my lighting's okay. I really like it, it's a little bit lighter. It's about like five point 5.3 pounds. I think it's a tiny bit lighter than last year's Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. So as you can see in the lighting, it's the same like onyx color that they always use. And I mean, they need to kind of change it up, right? They do have the white color. They have the blue color that they used to release like a couple years ago. But yeah, this is pretty awesome. I mean, it's slimmer, I believe, than the last year's. Might be the same thickness but they have a redesigned back. This is more of like the Lenovo Slim kind of back right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. So let's go into the ports, ethernet, USB-C, HDMI, and this does support a VR art. And then this one also does connect directly to the GPU. Uh, the USB 3 and another USB 3 as well. And then here's the power port. I know there's other channels like Jared's Tech that complain about not having like um, it lit right here, but it doesn't really matter. I don't really use my computer in the dark, but if you do use the computer in the dark, you might need like this lighting to be uh, lit while you're in the dark essentially. So um, I really do like the design, it's slim. Here's the back side of it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but same. This fan grill reminds me of like the HP Omen series. So. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely uh, similar. I think they copied it before, they copied it directly from HP Omen. So, I mean, I definitely like it. It's it's something that like I, I prefer to see just because of the width of the fans and everything. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely usable and I think it's gonna be efficient for having good thermals. So we'll check that. Let's see how the thermals will look like after this. Let's go into, ooh, I do like the feet as well. The feet is pretty awesome. And, you know, it's really thick feet, so it's gonna give it a little bit more of a lift when you're um, using it on a desk. You can see the, the, the lift right there. So it's pretty cool. Definitely like the backside of it, it looks promising. Looks like it's gonna have good thermals, just like the HP Omen does, typically. Um, and the lid is all metal. This is all like an all metal build, so. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely one of the, up there as far as being one of the better build qualities of a gaming laptop. Uh, like, compared to the MSI series, <laughs> MSI series is not nice. It's not good, so... Um, yeah, the hinges look legit, so... I feel like there won't be any problem with the build quality as you can trust with Lenovo Legion, so... Um, but let's just get into the Cinebench test right now, because that, that'll be probably be, be the easiest um, to do. Yeah, 7 zip, baby. Here we go, Cinebench. And then we're gonna set this to the max. So it's function Q. That's how you do performance mode, which is the red. All right, so let's do the first test. We're gonna make sure there's enough liftage under this so they can get some good cooling. So it's gonna be a little It's gonna be a little crooked, but uh, let's see what we can achieve. All right, so let's start it.
Let's also look at the um, the panel. So this does come with an IPS 2K panel that a lot of people are mad about because it, they decrease the brightness from 500 nits to 300. But honestly, I only think 500 nits is good for people that work outside, right? Anyone who works inside most of the time, usually even, even in a bright room, uh, you only need 300 nits for me at least. Let's see, so monitors, then you go to integrated monitor properties, hardware ID. Okay, so it's a BOE monitor. So if we go look that up, so afterburner is finally installed, but if we go look it up, okay, so it's 98.8 sRGB. You guys can see that. So it's 98.8% sRGB, 73% Adobe RGB, and 71% uh, DCI-P3. So decent, that's pretty standard for gaming laptops. It's not the best, but pretty standard. 10 millisecond response time. And the brightness goes up to 300. Oh, it says 400 nits. Okay, so... Yeah, like I was saying, 500 nits is what you want if you want to have direct sunlight right on the computer okay 300 nits is fine for indoor usage and i'm okay with the legion so far uh indoors so decent monitor has g-sync so again thank you for anyone tuning in glad you guys are part of the bronze tech family on this small community again don't forget to like and subscribe and I, i'm able to review more laptops So 54 was the loudest on this. That's not the quietest, but definitely not the loudest. It's like middle of the pack. Okay, 54 was the max we got in our decibels. So pretty good for a for a Legion laptop. I believe like the last last time or the last year's version was like 56. So I'm impressed. I think it's an upgrade this year. The keyboard's better too as well. It's more it's less like rattly than last year's. It's more sturdy and I do like the texture on the keys. So overall, I'm impressed and I, I would vouch for getting this if you can get it for like 1200 for sure, just snap it up. Almost 1100 points. So the graphics core was 10,387 10, points. 10,387, CPU was bonkers 15,937 now I know that you can get some higher-end laptops this year the higher-end laptops really kind of just set the, itself apart from the rest um, due to its performance but you're gonna have to pay double I think the this this price range of laptops for sure definitely worth it a good step up from last year I think but that, yeah, that time spy score is great. I'm gonna have to try out uh, Call of Duty as well right now, so. Wow, look at that, guys. 10,387, that's pretty much almost as much as my, RT my fully powered desktop RTX 3070. And that CPU score is ridiculous. I don't even know if that's right. <laughs> I have never seen a score that high, so. I do remember just standing here <laughs> and just shooting at this. Shooting usually brings the frames down, okay? So I'm getting 162. So I'm getting about 165, so about 15 frames per second. 
better than the MSI Katana RTX 4060 85 watt version. I think 15 frames per second is definitely a good jump up. So pretty big jump. And now let's check the wattage now. Let's see. So you go to board power draw. Yeah, it looks like we're getting about 85 watts for this GPU. I'm only getting 85 watts. What the heck? Interesting. Maybe Lenovo set a limit to uh, their GPUs. Let's check out Afterburner. 85 watts is the max on this, guys. For the RTX 4060. And it's still performing better than the MSI Katana? That's strange. That is super strange, guys. So again, I'm getting about an average of 170 frames per second now. Running around shipment, whereas the uh, MSI Katana with the 4060, I think it's 80 or 85 watts, gets about 150 frames per second. Interesting. Okay, so I will log this into my database and you guys can check that out. Also have the full review um, with the Lenovo Legion so you guys can check that out later. Uh, thank you for tuning in to anyone. My camera is about to die so that will be the end of the stream. Again, I appreciate you fam. And again, don't forget to support the channel so I can keep reviewing uh, some brand new laptops. Alright, All right, guys, you have a great day everyone. Love you guys. Bye.